Welcome back to Perks Recap. Back at it once again. Well, it's part three. Do we, brothers? What were once vices are now habits. Um, just really, really enjoying it. So far, so good. I mean, it's Do We Brothers. Every Do We Brothers album I've done, I've really liked. Even the songs on here that I kind of was like not too, too crazy about, they were still solid as rock. They were still good songs. There's just others that are just, you know, really blowing my mind. And, um, you know, I prefer them a little bit. But like I said, you're not going to like every single song on, the, on an album. And th even those, I don't dislike them. It's just that I like the other ones more. Anyway, I hope you join us for part uh, one and part two. If not, links for those are in the description uh, below. The links to all three parts. So if you missed one, go back, check it out, rejoin us here. We're on to part three. The name of this one is Down in the Track, written by Johnston. This will be another four songs, and then we'll be done with the album. So uh, thank you for joining me. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification. Let's get to it. Okay.
It's too hard to like try to rank these. That one was right up there with all my favorites on the album. The guitar work in there is pretty much why, but the keys had a chance to shine. The drums were excellent and the bass really grabbed me as well in this one. Everything I was able, uh, sometimes I have trouble trying to gravitate and latch on to something to really hold on to, to enjoy a song. This one, I enjoyed everything. I can latch on anything. The whole song, it was just excellent thoroughly. Thoroughly enjoyed that one. Like I said, right up there with all my favorites, um, like Road Angel and S Spirit and Pursuit on 53rd Street. This is all right up there with those. Um, let's get on to another Park, Another Sunday, another Johnston song. Uh, let's just get to it. So far, so good. I mean, we're already, we're on song 10 of 12, and I've been doing nothing but praising this album. So obviously, I really, really like this album. Hopefully you do too. Let's get to it. Okay, a little bit slower.
Okay, the Doobies Mellower songs. I'm going to classify this as that, even though towards the end it definitely picked up. Um, they're mellower songs. They're they're not. They're more like a vibe than anything to me. They're setting a tone, and they're setting a mood, and that's what I. Every time they slow it down a little bit, or a song like that, I get more than anything. I get that vibe from them, and I dig it. It's a vibe that I really, really like for sure. Um, the guitar joining in there at the at the like in the midpoint, um, just kind of flowing it's very smooth it's very clean it's just uh it's just so so good it definitely didn't pick up at the end but i just really really enjoyed the vibe that's the second song on this album that i said that about and uh it's kind of like a trend with them they set vibes for me they set tones they set moods and uh this was another example of that we're gonna move on second to last song daughters of the sea this is Simmons again. Back, back, we're back to Simmons. All right, let's get to it. Daughters of the Sea, that makes sense so far. Oh. Bluesy feel. Oh. I like this part so much better than the out of the part. This is good, but it's not as good as that.
a good one. Okay, well, uh, that was excellent. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Daughters of the Sea, one of my favorites on the entire album, no doubt about it. I love the transition from the slow kind of bluesy guitar that they had at the beginning, and then they kind of, it was in between the more up-tempo stuff. And I was saying, oh, I like the bluesy stuff more, but then the up-tempo stuff also kind of started to... Uh, grow on me a little bit and then before you know it I like the whole song because then at the end there's guitar solos just a great great song one of my favorites on the entire album we only have one more to go that one is Flying Cloud and it's written by Porter this is the second one he he had some writing credits for Road Angel um but he he uh this one is just him. This is only a couple minutes long. Flying, Flying Cloud is only two minutes long. That's the last song on the album. So let's finish this up. Let's finish this album up and let's get to it. Oh, it sounds like the, the end of the last song. Daughters of the Sea. It went right into this. Vibe centers, the cool way to close the album. Okay. Well, that's it. That definitely was more of a uh, vibe setter, kind of a just a cool way to end this end the album. Um, that sounds like the final track of an album, you know, kind of fits that description. But once again, this has been awesome. I'm going to come back with my clothes. There you have it. I really, really enjoyed this. I want to thank Brandon once again for the donation and the suggestion on this one. If you want to be like Brandon, donate information for Venmo and PayPal is in the description below. Also in the description, the links to the original video I, I reacted to, all my other Doobie Brothers reactions. Um, if you donate to the channel through Venmo and PayPal, I'll react to anything you want me to. You can also hit the thanks button on YouTube. That's another way to donate. And I would definitely, definitely appreciate that. Thank you so much for everybody who has donated and suggested stuff. Uh, the Doobie Brothers, just, I've been so impressed. I'm so happy that I've been introduced to the Doobie Brothers in this way. I did, really didn't know the backstory. I really didn't know how many albums they had without Michael McDonald. I didn't know that much about him. 
there's a few songs here and there, like in this one uh, where I, I catch one that I actually do know, which was Blackwater earlier. Um, but it's not it's not the same. It's uh, it, it, I, I didn't have the, the right appreciation for them. And now I do. And that's because of you guys. That's because of Brandon. So once again, thank you. Uh, don't forget about the podcast. If you like NFL stuff, we have two NFL shows a week. Al, who's a contributor here, you see Al in the comments. He suggests stuff too. Um, he joins me every week, every Wednesday. We talk about the NFL uh, the previous week and the upcoming week. Um, two shows come on out every Wednesday. We've been doing it all season long, and the season is actually winding down, but it's still a great time to jump on if you want to catch that. We also talk about some music sometimes on the channel. If you want to come on the channel and talk to music, all that information is also in the description. Anyway, that's my spiel. Uh, enough of that. Please go have yourself a happy holiday. Merry Christmas if you celebrate. And until next time, I will see you later.